Channel 19, WLTX Columbia. 19, WLTX Columbia. And now, News 19. Good evening, I'm Gene Upright reporting. The State Department of Corrections released 150... South Carolina's capital city. Gene Upright. Diana Watson. Camille Bradford. And Bob Shields. You're watching News 19 at 6. Good evening, I'm J.R. Berry. Gene Upright has the... 37, we're back with more right after this. Good morning from WLTX Columbia. You're watching News 19 with Curtis Wilson, Matt Roars, and meteorologist Scott Ryan. From News 19, this is Friends at Five with Darcy Strickland, Andrew Mott, and South Carolina's weatherman Jim Dandy. Well, hello, friends. Welcome to Friends at Five. I'm Darcy Strickland. And I'm Andrea Mock. Thank you so much. Right now on News 19. That was the best day of my life. A decision no child should have to make. Nicholas, I want to take my life. But this little boy made it. I'm climbing to the top of this thing. And now he's beating the odds. That's a funny Nick's inspiring choice, plus Boy Scout hero risking his life to save another of Midland's teen honor. News 19 starts now. And good evening, thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Bear. And I'm Andrea Mock. Well, isn't it unseasonably warm? Now, from the station that's on your side, this is News 19, WLTX. One of the students... Now, from the station that's on your side, this is News 19, WLTX. Right now on News 19, box cutter attack, a high school football player is charged in the vicious assault of a teammate. Plus, bailout update, the Senate passes its version, and a local lawmaker weighs in on why support is needed. And a Midlands middle school teacher in jail tonight, accused of having sex with a 15-year-old girl. That's how we began tonight at 6. Good evening now, and thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Barrett. And I'm Darcy Strickland. We begin tonight here in Columbia, where a middle school teacher is accused of having sex with a 15-year-old girl. From the station that's on your side, you're watching Friends at Five. All right, folks, welcome back for the second half hour of Friends at Five. I'm Darcy Strickland. And I'm Andrea Mock. Students at you. Right now, News 19 at 6, a very active day weather-wise as tornado warnings issued for five Midlands counties. We have a confirmed touchdown. We'll take a look at the damage left behind. An arrest has been made in a sexual assault from last weekend near the USC campus. We'll have details on the suspect's bond here. And as National Signing Day, we'll break down where some Midlands players are headed. News 19 at 6 starts right now. From the station that's on your side, you're watching News 19 at 6. Well, just a short time ago, the National Weather Service confirming that a small tornado touched down north of the farm. From the station that's on your side, you are watching News 19 this morning. Good morning and thank you for waking up with News 19 this morning, 430 and it's official. The Clemson Tigers winning the college football national championship 35 to 31 and it came down to the last minute as both teams fought hard for the trophy. Deshaun Watson went 36 of 56 with 420 yards and three touchdowns. Yeah, they bring in that trophy to the upstate. Now, Senator Tim Scott is celebrating this morning along with fans and the team because he... From the station that's on your side, you're watching Friends at Five. Good Monday evening and thanks for joining us for Friends at Five. I'm Darcy Strickland. And I'm Andrea Mock. The FBI and SLED are investigating. Tonight on News 19 at 6, an effort to remove the special prosecutor and the ongoing probe of possible state house corruption. As bond was set for former House Majority Leader Rick Quinn today, we'll take you to the courtroom for the latest. Take a look at this video. A truck slams into a home. Find out where and how it happened. And one of Don Staley's assistant coaches, Nikki McRae, leaving the program will tell you why. As News 19 at 6 starts now.
from the station that's on your side. You're watching News 19 at 6. You are looking live at our Max Storm Doppler radar where you can see there's some good bit of rain across portions of South Carolina. Good evening and thanks for joining us for Friends at Five on this Monday. I'm Darcy Strickland. And I'm Andrea Mock. It was a big day in the courtroom today. A lot of people were waiting for this. Tonight, tax returns rejected. We have details on a new scam targeting your tax refund. Plus, profiting from tragedy. Scammers target Saluda County, trying to make a dollar off of fallen deputies. When is it okay to show your handgun in public? We spoke with experts to find out. Good evening. Congressman Ralph Norman recently took some criticism for showing his handgun to constituents in Rock Hill. The state attorney general WLTX News 19, always on your side. 